All right, today I'm going to go over an exercise that uh, it has many different names. It's, really, it's, not real, it's a dynamic hip thruster, I guess. It's like we call it baby makers here. Um, I understand that configuration of your rack system at home probably is very likely different. It does not change the fact that you can accomplish these things if you use just a little bit of your imagination. Okay? So, because most every gym now has bands, most all racks now have some sort of spotting apparatus. Whether you're gonna use, in this case, a PVC pipe, I mean, I could take other handles and things, whatever, but the point is, is use your imagination. Because this exercise right here is so fundamentally useful for really two exercises, a lot of things, but really, in terms of the PST world, you're looking at dynamic hip extension, you're looking at dynamic shortening and lengthening of the lat, okay, while having a stable torso, thoracic and lumbar spine. Okay, because that's so important for fighting everything we do. We want this stable where everything else can be super dynamic. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind. And there's, there's some phases of this because we can focus on not quite getting the triple extension. Okay, so it's more of a hypertrophy type movement. And then we can go extremely dynamic and I'll demonstrate both. So you get an idea of, of, of what it might look like or the speed in which we're doing as we break it into phases. This isn't really a strength exercise. So I'm gonna keep this in the hypertrophy world, you know, so in the dynamic explosive world. So a couple rules, that, not real hard fast rules, but for this, like how high should this be? You can see for me, it's about mid thigh. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these bands and basically put them on my waist, okay? The distance from this band to whatever you're gonna grab onto, right? Is essentially basically one and a half arm lengths. That's kind of where it's gonna be. So this is a half rack. If this is a full rack, these verticals would come all the way out to here and it still work out perfect. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Like, and instead of you know putting on these sides, I just put it on the J-hooks. I just put the band on this thing. Okay, so again, use your imagination when you do this. Okay. The other thing too is like, where is my handle height is going to be? If I were to walk up to it, it's going to be mid mid abdomen. Okay. So think of it like you know the bottom of your sternum. You get a little piece of xiphoid little cartilage called xiphoid process just below that. So not quite the bottom of your rib cage, about second rib, okay? So, and then what we're gonna do too is, the last thing is I wanna get my feet underneath the point of where I'm grabbing, the fulcrum, right? So if, if, I, if my feet are underneath this point of attachment, um, I'm gonna get a lot more hip drive, okay? And that's the whole idea. So this exercise is, is two ways. So on the hypertrophy, I'm really just gonna focus on the concentric and coming back safely in the eccentric. So, and I'll call it the hypertrophy would kind of look like this. Shoelaces underneath where I'm, whatever I'm grabbing, okay? Real stable position. I'm gonna, lats are down, this one I'm not relaxed. So lats are engaged, and what I'm gonna try to do is take this purple band to whatever I'm holding on to, in this case, BBC. See here, I've just got, I've got my toes up, my driving through my heels, this is glute medius, mostly, okay? So a lot of rucking, a lot of benefit in that and thinning, okay? So we go into triple extension. I'm gonna drive with my toes and do it dynamically, <clears throat> real quick, <clears throat> okay? Real quick, explosive. So, because if you kind of get, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but if you, you go back and look at it, this arm angle is <clears throat> real fast, I'm dynamically shortening my tricep and my lat. That's what happens on the change of direction of your pull-up, okay? So that's the other side we're really looking for is, because the pull-up, this is kind of on the big back pull-up thing is, it's very hard to, di to, to mimic dynamic pull-up movements, okay? So what we do is we dissect it in pieces. So this is a dynamic aspect of the pull-up and then we basically do a bunch of dynamic things. It's basically disassemble the movement. We reassemble them basically in the pull-up later on, and that's when we get better performance, okay? Working on these little skills to further improve total body uh, performance. So whatever you call it, dynamic banded hip thruster, right? Baby makers, whatever you wanna call it. Try this, set this up, give it a shot. I think you'll really like it.